p.m. Eastern Time. And this week we had a great suggestion from Amber to make some Father's Day gifts. So this gets, gives you plenty of uh, leeway time to make some fun gifts. I have a few ideas in mind and then we can just go with the flow. And uh, yeah, so as always, I'm going to flip the screen and get started right away. You can work along with me if you want. And if ever you make things, you can share them in the Wire Makers Club on Facebook or we have a Slack app where you can send us uh, share pictures as well or e email them to me at info at heatherboytwire.com. So let's flip the screen and get going. Hi, Corey, you're the first one on. And I'm just gonna turn the screen here. There we go, I'm out of the screen for a second. I have to figure out which way, there we go. We're gonna bring this one down. I have to make sure that we get centered and we can see everything. I will pull up the video as always on my computer so we can see what's happening. And if you guys are hopping on, introduce yourself. Let me know what kind of wire art and jewelry projects you're working on. And oh, we have a lot of people. There we go. So I just have to catch up with the stream and make sure I think there might be a little bit of a delay. There we go. So let me just adjust the screen a little bit. We're going to bring this one over. Bring this one, I think we have to bring it a little further across the table. Let me just bring us, oh, oh no, that's worse. Okay, so let me pull this back and see if that's better. I think that's gonna be better. There we go, how's that? And we're gonna bring this one down. So we're gonna make some fun little decorative bites today. Let me just bring this one over a little bit and over here, I guess. I just wanna make sure we're centered. I think we're good. Perfect. So let me go back through the chat and see who's here. Uh, hi, Kathy. Uh, so happy you're here. And Corey's here. And Amber, yay, Amber. And Her Herminia. I hope I pronounce your names properly, everybody. And Isabella. And Tekuk. Cool name. Rita. Tanya. If I'm missing anyone, let me know. Gwendolyn. Hannah. And Pauline. And but da, 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 I think we're going down, scrolling down. Mirta is here and Agnes. Wow, a lot of people. I'm great. Thanks, everybody, for hopping on. So Amber had a great suggestion to make some Father's Day gift. And I had uh, previously done like a bicycle with freedom in it, which was really cool. So I thought, why don't we do some names and we can do daddy. So I wrote out the name Jason here. And I wrote out the name, uh, wrote out Daddy. You can do any names you like. And we're just going to um, go with the flow today, guys. Hi, Hannah. And I'm just going to pull up and see if I can find... Da, 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 da. I'm going to see if I can find the one that says freedom. But we'll pull it up after. So let's get started. And um, so these are my rough sketches. Like I said, I've done something similar before. So we're going to see what we can do. Hi, Kestery. I really hope I don't miss any of your comments. And so we could either use 20 gauge, but it's a little bit thin. We can also use uh, 18 gauge, which might be a little bit better. So why don't we start with the 18 gauge and then we'll go from there. So I thought I'm going to start with the name first. So let's start with Jason. The J's are a little bit tricky to do. So we're going to see what we can do with that. And oh, someone's hopping on that. I cannot pronounce your name. I don't know if that's a Russian name, but it's a, uh, ooh, I wish I could understand. I need Google Translate. So who will let, who, uh, hello, hello to whoever that is. And I'm gonna pull off some wire. We'll probably need quite a bit of wire. So let's go ahead and cut quite a bit. I wanna make sure I stay on screen here. And I'm gonna cut like maybe two feet. Maybe I won't make it too big. Uh, because I don't want to, I don't want to have trouble like not having enough wire. So I'm going to cut it like the width of my paper, which is about two feet long. And we are going to go from there. So there we go. So let's just start. Um, I'm also going to pull up, I have my uh, cursive letters. So I'm going to also look at my cursive letters to see um, how they look. And we're going to say uh, cursive, cursive uh, pendants. You can search my channel anytime you're looking for a specific uh, tutorial. And I do have templates 
in my Etsy DIY shop if you ever need templates. So I'm just going to pull this one up here and just look for, I just want to look for initial letter pendants and see what we can find. And if you guys are working along with me, let me know. And um, yeah, we can work together. So there we go. Yeah, so the J, see this is, this is, I don't know if you guys can see. So this is one of my tutorials for the letter pendants. And then so the J, whoops, I have to go back. So we're gonna go right back. Oops, no, I don't wanna do that. There we go, let's go down. Okay, sorry guys, this is, this is where I should just screenshot it, which would be better. And then we can look at the screenshot. So we're gonna go done that, we're gonna save that. And let's go back to my photos. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting started, we're getting warmed up. If I'm missing your comments, it's just because I am trying to find, this is the, uh, this is the letter, how I did the, the J before. So you can do it like, I don't know if you guys can see, you can do it a little bit like that as well. So I think I'm just gonna do it simply, but you guys can go by the templates and do them any way you like. Uh, hi, Paula, did I say hi to you already? Hello, hello. So let's go ahead and start. So what we wanna do is start, leave enough for the front wheel, do the name, and then we're gonna go to here. So maybe about here, I'm gonna remove this and I'm just gonna go for it and see how we do. So let's just go ahead and bring this one up. And in the meantime, I'll try to find the other video as well to see what's going on. Uh, love the bikes with the names. Yes, these are super fun. Actually, my husband and I um, make bicycle wedding cake toppers uh, as our business. Uh, their designs are uh, quite different than these. They're a lot more intricate. He's been making them for 40 years, the bikes. So, um, but it's fun to do some simplified designs that you guys can do as well. So now let's just go ahead and do the J. I hope it's not gonna be too, um, uh, I hope I'm not gonna run out of wire, but we're just gonna try. So we're gonna start with the J, uh, keep it simplified. I don't want it to be too complicated. So we're gonna bring this one down, bring this one to the back, okay. Um, it might look a little bit more, might look a little bit too much like a, um, actually it looks like an infinity sign. That's quite beautiful. So there we go. We're going to bring this one across. I love that. So we're going to bring this one across here and it's the sort of thing, it's, it's a prototype, so it can definitely uh, be tweaked, but this is just to give you guys an idea of the design and I'm sorry, it's a little bit dark. Let me open up my curtain a little bit. It's a little bit dark out today. It's a cloudy day in Montreal. I'm just gonna put my curtain over to the side. There we go, that's a little brighter. So now we are going to keep going. So now we're gonna do the A. We're gonna bring this one around. Hope that I'm staying in the camera here. I have to mark off the dim dimensions on my thing. So, uh, Ellen, hi, Ellen. Oh, it's okay, I start a little late now, Ellen. I start more mostly around um, 1.30. I was starting around um, one before, but I could never get organized in time. So there's the A, and what we're gonna do is, you can just take your little pliers and bend that over so it does this part across there we go, so J-A, that's quite sweet. So now, I hope I don't run out of wire. I might have to start again, but we're gonna do our best. So we're gonna bring this one around. That's always the trick, is having enough wire. So now we're gonna, I think I could even come down this way a little bit more, there we go. If I'm centered on my paper, I'm okay. So there's, now we're gonna do the S. So we're gonna bring this one up. And then for the S, I just bend this one to the front, like that. And if ever you guys need to know how to do a certain name, I don't have time to do tutorials for all the names, but sometimes I'll do like little sketches with arrows so you know what direction the wire goes in. So that's cool. So now we're gonna bring this to the back. I'll try to tell you front and back. So J-A-S. And then we're gonna keep going with this. Cloudy in Nova Scotia, yeah. So you have similar weather to for us today. Um, how warm is it, Kathy? I think it's about 18 degrees or something. It's not too bad. 
uh, cold in Argentina. Oh, yes, you guys, um, I guess you guys are near the South Pole. Is that the situation? I have to brush up on my geography. So there we go, J-A-S, and I'm worried I'm gonna run out of wire, but we're gonna see what we can do here. So now the O, we're gonna bring this one around to the back. Okay, just bring that one right around. And then for the N, sometimes I start the N from the bottom, but I thought I'd maybe just try it that way as well. There's different ways you can do the N, so let's try it that way. I can, I can always like try it different ways again after. So I'm gonna bring this one up. This is about a bit like when I do the word love, I go from the O to the V up this way too. So there's different ways to do things. So now we're gonna bring this one around here, down here. Maybe it has to be a little bit bigger. And then we're going to go from here, bring this one up here. And then I'll get some thicker, bigger part seven degrees Ooh, that is cold oh my gosh that's very cold i'm surprised um i think out west they've been having some cold weather too so there's the end that's quite cute like that i haven't i've never really done the end that way from the o to the end that's tricky for sure so now we are going to bring this one straight across and what we would do from here you can see i would do the around here if i ran out of wire i could always add oh i could always add a wire after but yeah so we're going to do the seat and then the then the wheel so we're going to take this and we're going to bring this one up here okay and then what we want to do is figure out how big the wheels have to be yeah i probably should have started a little over more so i've got my little babushka doll of pill bottles and we have peggy hi peggy so let's see if we put this one here and then we have the other one here is that going to be big enough that should be okay let's try that so this is where you ha have to figure out the proportions so say we go from here to here and then the wheel would go there so now i'm going to bring this one over and then this one over here this is just a stylized seat, very stylized. And we're gonna bring this one down and I'll be able to calculate how much wire I'm gonna need because look at this, I've already run out of wire, but that's, I'm not gonna panic. I'm just going to bring this one to here and then twist it and add another wire just for the sake of, of you know, getting it finished. So now we're gonna bring this one around here so normally what I would do is extend this wire and make the wheel, but I ran out of wire. So that happens. That happens all the time when I'm in my work too. So uh, we have Malgorzata. Hello, hello. I'm really sorry if I mess up your names, guys, but I definitely do my best. So there's the seat. If we had had enough wire, I would have done the wheel, but I'll add that after. But why don't we go ahead and do the front wheel and see how that's going to go. And of course, your dimensions and where you twist it are going to depend on the length of your name. So this one is five letters. So if I was going to do a um, shorter name, it might it, the dimensions would be a little bit different. So we're going to bring that one up. This wheel would go here. Okay, so we have to figure out, this is really tricky dimension wise. So now we have to figure out where the top of that would go. So maybe around there. And I'm gonna bring this one around. And maybe it has to, maybe actually this has to maybe go that way and then do a bend down this way so it's going to fit in there. So if we're gonna go around here, and as always, you guys get the benefit of seeing the prototype because you can definitely make changes for the actual piece. So now we're gonna bring this one around in a circle here we're going to bring this one all the way around to do the wheel and just bring it in a little bit okay and hi connie uh, i tried to make my wire extra long yeah i know i know that happens definitely when I, I sometimes i try to cut it well even like for the happy birthday one that one you guys if you guys saw that video that was this one i actually just worked right off the spool i never cut the wire i just did it right off the spool so if you're not sure that's another way to do it 
So we have this one here, and actually what I probably should do, which might be easier, is just twist, like see in this drawing, I hadn't attached it, but um, I'm thinking I'm gonna attach it first, then it, will, then it will be more solid. So let's try that. We're gonna take this, bring that one around, and yeah, I should have maybe started a little more to the right, but that's, you know, trial and error. So now we're gonna hold this in place, and we're gonna bring this one around this way. Let's go all the way around and all the way around to the front here. Okay, so that's held in place. And then we need to do the handlebars. So let's bring this one up there. Okay, so we've got, oh boy, this wheel got a little distorted, but that's because the wire is quite soft. So let's go back and do this and wire, I love the wire bobbins. Okay, wire bobbins is to hold them in place. Okay, uh, Cyrene, Cyrene, hello, thank you. So now I'm just trying to fix this shape up a little bit and then here we would do the handlebars, right? So uh, let's go ahead and decide where we want to put these ones. So this one can go across here might be that might actually be a little, this actually might be a little high now, but see, this is, we don't know until we try, right? So we're gonna bring this one here and then we're gonna bring this one around here for the handle, because this looks like it might be a little big for that, but that's okay. So we've got that one there and that one here. And then this one we can bring straight down like that. And then here you can just uh, do like a little loop or you could do, here I did like a little spiral thing. Spiral's kind of cute too. So if you do want to do a spiral, we can take our little cone and bring that one around a few times. I had the wire, I may, as, I may as well do it. So now we've got to bring this one around here. Perfect. And then we are going to clip it to wear a poncho. Ponchos are very handy and very uh, warm. You're right about that. So we're going to bring this around. And guys, don't forget, if your video quality is a little blurry on your end, um, Amber, can you remind us of what we have to do? We have to go to settings, I think, video quality settings, and you can set it to the highest setting, which I think is 720p. So it was Randy that told us about that. And so if you're having trouble with blurriness on the video, you can do that. Oh, that's cute. I do like the spiral. That's really fun. So awesome. So far, I'm really liking the name and the spiral. Like that's turning out really well. It's just the dimensions we're not sure about. This is soft, so we have to be careful. So there it is so far, but um, he needs a back wheel. So let's get some more wire, guys. So I ran out of wire, that happens. So we needed a, let, let me, I'm also gonna get a ruler to measure it so you guys know how much wire we need. Just let me go get my ruler. I have it here. There we go. So we have the ruler. And let me measure how big I cut it to begin with. So that was 12. 12 plus 10 is 22. So say make it at least 25 inches. Okay, guys, so let's write that down. 25 inches and then you should have enough wire. So now I'm just gonna cut an extra piece of wire. There we go, let's just cut an extra piece and we're gonna attach it here and hope it won't be too wobbly. So that will be the trick to get it not too wobbly, but the key to not get it wobbly is to actually attach it in two places. And oh, I just had an idea. So rather than use this shorter one, I'm actually gonna get a longer one because I have a solution that is going to work. So let's cut this longer. And this is actually one of those fate things that, uh, you know, my error is going to come in handy. So that's good. Mustafa, hello, hello, how are you? Nice. Uh, Kathy, I set mine to the highest setting. It looks awesome so far. Yay, I'm so happy. Right on. Kathy, one day I'm going to come out east and see you because we've known each other for a long, long time. Kathy's one of the very first members in the Wiremakers Club and has been watching my channel for a long, long time. I would love to come out east and to visit you. 
That would be great. See the ocean, make some wire together. That'd be super fun. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the end into a kickstand. Isn't that a good idea? So now we're going to hold this here and have a little extra end. And then I'm going to just wind it around here once or twice. Let's, let's wind it twice. And if, if this is hard to make a like good bend, we're just going to, yeah, that would be so awesome. I have a friend in New Brunswick um, in Quispamspis, I think that's how you pronounce the name. I would love to go see her. She has a cottage um, on PEI. So yeah, maybe, maybe I can do that. I don't have a vacation plan this summer. That would be awesome. Now it's funny, this wire looks a little darker. I wonder if in the inside the roll, it gets a little bit, gets a little um, like, uh, the the quality of the color seems to change a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind that. And so now, Heather, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you. Um, still want to make some more resin. I found my resin stuff in my uh, studio, um, Mustafa. So I definitely still want to make some resin stuff. I just have not got around to it. So now, if this is going to be the kickstand, and then we're going to add, uh, bring this one over to here. Now, keep in mind, normally I wouldn't have um, had to do this. I just ran out of wires. So now we are going to take this one over to this side and bring it around and twist it a couple of times here. Okay, we'll twist it around a couple of times there. And let's straighten this one out so it's nice and straight and get our flat pliers to bring this one. Uh, can't get these little pliers in there. Let's get some other pliers. I made some resin pens. Whoa, how do you do that? That sounds really neat. And now let's get our pill bottle again. So it's the medium size. Bring this one here. Hopefully it's the right size. We're gonna bring that one around and this so we're gonna have a big gob of wire there but i don't know if there's much we can do about that it's only because i had to add the wire but uh, if you guys make it definitely make it a little bit bigger and then you can always add a wire if you do want to add a kickstand too so now we're going to just take oh you know what i can do for that is sometimes if you just separate those wires a little bit let's just make a space in there okay we're going to make a, a little space we can between those wires because sometimes it actually works well if you wind it in between those two wires and then it blends better and it, um, and it should sit in place better. So we're gonna just put this one in here. Hopefully it's gonna work. I might have to like pinch it in a little bit. Get in there, you. Mm, it's a little tricky, but that's the idea. There we go. Okay, so this is me trying to show you how to deal with it when you don't have enough wire. So that works. So now we're just going to bring this one up here and it should be okay. It shouldn't be like too wobbly or anything. So now I'm just going to clip that. Okay, we'll remove that and find pen molds. How interesting. I didn't know they had pen molds. I love that. Yeah, I want to make some more cabochons because I love those ones that... Um, that Mustafa sent me. So now we just have a little bit of a um, a blip there where it's gone down. It's so funny that the wire is like two different colors. I'm not quite sure why that happened, but it's just the nature of this, the roll, I guess. So let me just adjust this. And then this one, if we end up doing a kickstand, like if you didn't do a kickstand, you could just make it like hanging, like a, uh, um, uh, like a decoration, maybe on a, um, put it, you could use it at Christmas. You can, you can, um, just hang it in a window, like a sun catcher. So now we have to trim this one because it's a little bit, it's not too wobbly. So let's trim this one, maybe about here and see if it's going to, oh, it does stand. Oh, it's so cute guys. So even though we had a bit of a glitch, with the running out of wire, it still turned out really cute and we can adjust that. So let me just hold it up and you can see there's the bicycle with Jason on it. That's so sweet. And I'm, I'm gonna actually remake it 
uh, my own time uh, with the longer wire and see how, how it goes. So there we go. A uh, bookmark, it could be a bookmark. Great idea. Love it, awesome, outstanding, yay! That's so cool, I'm so happy it turned out so well. Beautiful bike, and I love how the J looks like an infinity sign. That's gorgeous, beautiful, lovely. So now I am going to do another one with Daddy. So let's just put Jason over here. He's gonna watch us, there we go. And then we're gonna go back over here and see Daddy. And I am going to get a sip of water because I'm going to be parched. There we go. Mm -hmm. So now, the daddy one, what did, how did I do that one different? Um, this one, I think I went down, I started the, I, that's it. I started the D inside the wheel. So let's do that and let's get some, let's make it smaller. Let's use 20 gauge wire and we'll do a littler one. Perfect. Nurse Chansey, Heather, you made that so fast, yay! And I even made a mistake and it still worked out. So that was good. And um, yeah, that's that's the advantage of having 30 years of experience making wire. Uh, things go a lot quicker than they would have 30 years ago. So let's go ahead and this is thinner wire. So we I think we'll be good with the um, uh, 20, I think it was 22 inches. So let's do that. Uh, Kathy says, thanks for showing how to make that name. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful, Kathy. I, I uh, had a little inspiration, so that's, uh, that happened, and I'm, I'm very happy with how that turned out. So here we go, and let us do Daddy with the bike. So where do we start? Let's start with the D. So I'm just going to just show you guys. This, we're just gonna start with the D and we don't need a lot of wire up here. So let's just go ahead and leave what should be like the handlebar and let's start the D. So now I'll need my round pliers and Malgarzata says, love it, awesome. So now let us do the D. So we're gonna start here. I'm just trying to stay in, the fo in focus here. Bring this one around. And I will link up all my letter and name tutorials in the description of the video. I have a huge playlist now of tons of videos. So, and like I said, if, if you're looking for your specific name or a specific word and you can't find it, I'm totally game to do a sketch for you guys with arrows to show you what direction to do the wire because it's good practice for me and um, I don't have time to do the all the names and all the words out of wire so um, yeah so I can definitely do you guys some sketches if you if you need otherwise the, I, I do have those those playlists which are very useful so there's the D and then um, is that what I meant to do let me just see that goes up there that goes there, ah, okay. So now I'm just going to, we could loop it around um, to make it fancy, or we could simply start there. Um, I'll make it fancy, why not? So if we bring this one around here, I don't know if it's necessary, but we can bring this one around here to make it, to, to like make a bit more of a loop at the top. Not totally necessary, but it's okay. And then we're gonna bend it around here. So let's just bend it around here a couple of times. And then this, this part here will form your wheel. So how much do you wanna go? Uh, let me just see the size. Cause if we do this, I have a couple of sizes. This is smaller. Um, see, this is where I try to visualize the size of the bike, this one. It's a little too small maybe, but I also don't want it too big. Daddy, let's try the bigger one. There we go. So we're gonna do this. And uh, Malgor Zeta says, thank you for sharing your experience. My absolute pleasure. And I'm really sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right. And if you guys have real names that are different than your usernames, Sometimes it's easier if I just keep track of those, but I don't, oh, I'm not always able to keep track of them. I'm going to go back to the smaller size because I think the bigger one was a little too big. If, if neither of these work, I, I could always get a marker 
or uh, something like that. So we're gonna bring this one around, bring it around here. Okay, so, and then we're just going to finish the circle. So hold it in place, okay, hold that in place. And then we are going to bring this one around here a couple of times and, hmm, I think I did something wrong already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I did something wrong already, but that's okay. We're gonna bring this one here, yeah. But, so we have the D, yeah, cause see in this sketch, it looked like this came straight out from here, but that's, we can, we can deal with that. So, it's tricky, it's very tricky. So I'm gonna bring this one down to the back, here, bound, curve it around, and then what we can do is just start it from there because some letters are more tricky than others to do a continuous piece. So this one I did, I'd gone down and around and then up here. So I realized this little line came out of nowhere. I don't even know where my head was when I did that, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and now, I think I missed something, right there, even though I don't know. I'm sure it's beautiful. Okay, we all make boo-boos. Okay, boo-boos, yes, yes, definitely. So now we are going to, or happy accidents, as that's uh, uh, Bob Ross used to say, right? So there's always happy accidents. So there's this one, but then this should actually come to the front. So this wire, I'm gonna have to pull it down and bring it back up to the front here because we want this to go over I think we want it to go over the um, that ledge there. So we, if we have the D, and right there we're ready to do the A. So now we're gonna bring this one and start the A. So let us get our pliers and, oh, uh, Nurse Chancy has to go, happy crafting. Yes, see you later, hopefully you can, I catch the replay if you missed anything. So we're gonna bring this one around for the A. So we're gonna bring this one around here and just roll it in there to bring in that A. That looks pretty good. So we might have to roll it back a little bit. So we're gonna bring this one around here and bring this one up and down. The 20 gauge for sure is a lot easier to work with than the, um, then the 18 gauge. So there's that one. And now we wanna do the D. So we're gonna bring this one over here and do the D. So we're gonna bring this one straight across. And then the D, it's similar to the A, but we're just gonna take this. I'm trying to make sure I'm staying in the screen too, guys. There we go. So we're gonna bring this one and do the same size circle as the A. There we go. And I mean, you could just do dad, but you can also do the whole daddy if you like. Um, I don't remember ever calling my dad daddy, but uh, I used to call him dad and my mom, mom, M-U-M. And, um, but a lot of people call their dad's daddy. Uh, it's cute, yeah, definitely cute. So let's just do the next one and yeah, my dad was a pretty serious guy. Um, he was an engineer. I mean, he's still a serious guy. He's not an engineer anymore, but uh, but um, yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. He's in some of my comics too, which is really funny. Actually, he made a reappearance in one of my comments, comics the other day because uh, uh, the comic was about percentages and my dad's an engineer. So he had been in one many, many years ago. And, and now we made a reappearance, so that was cool. So uh, there we go. If you guys don't know, I write very silly comics on Instagram, and my username is Heather Boyd Comics, and I have a lot of fun with those. So there's coming along, looking good. So now you call your dad Papa. That's cool. That's really cool. I'll call mom, mama, and mom. Nice. Very nice. Cool. Yeah, we call, um, my daughter Mimi calls um, my dad Pappy, because that's sort of like a French way to say grand grandfather, because Papa is, in French, is dad. So she calls her dad Papa, and her grandpa Pappy. So there's, let's just do the Y now. 
This is turning out really cute. I'm shocked. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. So now we are going to bring this one down here and I'm going to bring this one around here. Okay. And there we go. Perfect. And hi, Jan. And you call your mom, Ma. Nice. Oh, I definitely call my mom Ma sometimes. Yeah, I definitely do that. Yeah, for sure. And uh, there we go. Open Oma. Nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's sweet. So there we go. So there's daddy. And then now we have to do the end of the bike. I really I just cut my nail a little bit. I'm going to have to uh, trim that one. And there we go. We're going to bring this one around here and then out this way. And then now there's daddy. Here's how the bike should look. So we've done the front wheel and now we're going to do the back wheel. So we just take this wire and go up seat and then down and make the wheel. So this is what should have happened with Jason, but I ran out of wire. So that happens. So now we're going to bring this one, bring this one up here and then we want to imagine where the wheel because this was that the wheel size no we use we use the smaller one so if the wheel is going to be here you want to imagine at what height that is going to be so that one's going to be like up here type of thing okay so that'll be up here we're going to go out uh, maybe even a little higher let me just see i don't want it to be too low yeah, we can maybe put it up a little higher. So if you do want to do it higher, uh, Kathy says, I call my father dad or big big dad. He was short in stature, but his personality was larger than life. Oh, that is beautiful. I love that. Very, very sweet. I love the nicknames we call our friends and family members. It's so super cute. There we go. So now let's bring this one across here. And let us bring this one across here. And I want to bring it to the back. So we're going to bring this one. Whoopee. Make this a little bigger, maybe. I don't want the seat to be too small. And then down here. So I also made a little bike out of paper clips. So I, I can uh, link up some of those tutorials as well. So now we are going to do that there. And then I think I'm going to bring it over to this. Well, I don't want to bring it too much over. Let's just see, because this may be... I, I originally, in the sketch, I looped it over to there, but I think I'm actually going to loop it here, because it, I think if I bring it over here, it's not... This is going to be too far back. So let us go ahead and loop link it here, although this length is going to be a little bit big, but this is where you'll have to just get creative, depending on how big you make things. So let's just bring this one around here. Bring this one to the back here and Kristen that's my sister hello hello nice to see you Kristen and I do our zoom art calls on the weekend and actually Kristen I'm taking a acrylics class Tuesday nights and so I might be doing acrylics when we get together for our zoom call because um I never was very good at acrylics, but I'm starting to learn. Oh, well, here you go, guys. We can actually use this end to make our kickstand. Remember I was wondering about the kickstand? We can just use this end. So had I not run out of wire uh, for the first one, that would have been a good solution. So now we're going to just take this, go around to secure it in place. I should have maybe done a little bit more of, you know, maybe this should have been like if it was a, a little bit more of a whoopee. It was on a little bit more of a like a bent angle then it's going to hold better in place so we're going to do this we're going to bring this one around these are going to be so cute you guys so here's that one but let's bring it over here to make a kickstand now so how are we going to do that i don't want it to be too uh, small either so if we bring this one we're going to bring this one straight across to the back okay and then we want to wind it around and we'll make a kickstand. This is going to be perfecto. There we go. So now Ab, I'm Abu for my grandchildren. That's cool. Very nice. So now let's take this one, hold it in place, and we are going to bring this one down and around. And let's do it again to be sure. And around here. Okay. So there 
daddy with a bike. Cool. And then we want to, we have to figure out this and we have to figure out how long the kickstand should be. So we're going to straighten that out. And definitely this is too long. So maybe about an inch long or something. So we're going to do this one here. Hopefully it's not, I didn't cut too much. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's going to stand. And then now we need to do the handle. So for this one, uh, you can do it out that way or maybe to the back like that. So let's just see what we want to do. We want it to be um, pretty balanced. So that's, uh, oh, unpronounceable, unpronounceable name. Um, person that just said hello with the pink circle and it looks like an I and an O or something. Oh no, that's your first initial of your name. Oh man, I should Google translate, but that, uh, hello, hello to uh, who just popped on and said hi. And I wish I spoke every language on the planet because then I'd be able to talk to you guys, but I don't. So in the comments, I often will go to Google Translate and translate your comments because I, um, I really appreciate everything that you guys say. So there's that, there's daddy. And then now we want to maybe just bend this in a little bit because I want this, I want this to be on a slight slant. So let's see if we can manage this to go on a slight slant that way just so it's a slightly more balanced this one too we might have to like figure it out that's not too bad and then why don't we bring this in a little bit say like that if we bring it that way okay i mean you can do the handlebars any way you like but let's do it this way we're going to bring this one around there and you know you could do a mountain or racing bike tanks type of thing so if we bring this one in I have made painted some mini canvases and share a photo of them in the art group. I would love to see that. Nice. Yeah, Mustafa, you do so many different projects. I think it's so awesome. So yeah, so here's the, um, for a racing bike type of thing, you can just leave it like that. Um, you could also do a type of spiral thing if you wanted to. We can try that. Um, we'll get this little end in there. And let us take the end with our round pliers. I want to ride my bicycle. <laughs> I remember that song. Um, what group is that? That's like one of those 70s groups, but now I forget. Is that Queen? I think it might be Queen. Uh, so let's bring this one in. Rotate it in a little bit to make a spiral. And this, you can do any kind of stylized thing that you want. So, oh, that's fancy. I'm not sure I love it, but it's kind of cool. So now there we have our little, our little bike with the, yeah, I don't know if I love that spiral, but there's what the spiral looks like. And otherwise you can just like clip it off. Yeah, I don't know if I love that spiral after all. Um, I think I'm just gonna clip it and leave it simple because we already had a spiral in the first one. So let's just cut it off. There we go. And get in there. There we go. Yeah, I think I like it more simple, just like a little a little spiral like that. That, that sort of it represents a racing bike. And then it does stand, guys. So here is Daddy with the bike. And you know what? I think that's that's it. That's all I'm going to do today, guys. I have some other things. I'm going to go live on my art channel in about half an hour. So if you don't know the art channel, it's Heather Boyd Art. And uh, Kathy says, Queen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Amazing. And is there someone new? Manuela came on. Hello, Manuela. Jennifer says, excellent. Thank you. So let's see what we did, guys. We did... We did Jason. We ran out of wire for Jason, but that's okay. We recouped and I'll remake, I'll probably remake that one. And then we have Daddy. And these are great ideas for Father's Day. And they stand up, which is super cool. So what I'm going to do is I am going to great job as always. Thank you guys. Awesome. Two live streams. Yeah, we're gonna go live on the art channel. I just have to go down the street and pick a flower out of my neighbor's garden because I'm gonna paint it and I'm gonna actually flip the screen now so I can say goodbye. There we go. Yay, we did it, we did it again. 
So let's get the bikes. Here they are. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so Kristen, glad that you caught me live. And like, Kristen, hop on over to the Art Channel in about half an hour or two if you're free. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, thank you guys, everybody, for hopping on. Thank you, Amber, for the great idea to do Father's Day stuff. And uh, thank you always to Mustafa, Amber, and Clarice who moderate the chat. I super appreciate it. Yes, be sure to subscribe. Join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. We have a Slack group. Uh, it, the link for all of those are, is in the description of the videos. And uh, next video is going to be um, Saturday regular video and live streams every Wednesday at um, at uh, 1 p.m. at Eastern Time. Actually, 1:30. Usually 1:30 Eastern Time. So guys, uh, thanks for watching and we will see you the next time. Bye.